guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little bit of a thrift flip to show you how to make a really cute DIY tote bag out of scraps of fabric that you might have from previous thrift purchases. So I have a little bin in my closet at home where I keep little scraps of fabric from things that maybe I bought um, from a thrift store that didn't end up fitting me when I got home or if I was doing a closet clean out, things that I don't want to wear anymore because maybe they don't fit or I just don't like them anymore. But the fabric is still really good and I don't want to throw it away or donate it so I keep it in this little bin in my closet for future little sewing projects like this. I always keep the scraps from all of my previous sewing projects as well um, because I know that they'll come um, in handy at some point so it's good to keep those things too. So I was looking through my little scrap bin the other day because it was getting pretty full and I found a couple of fabrics that I thought looked really nice together um, and they were kind of in weird shapes so I thought that it wouldn't really do well to make a top or a dress out of so I decided to go with a tote bag. So two of the pieces that I used for this were the bottom half of two pairs of pants. So they were a pair of men's jeans and a pair of faded green thicker cotton pants as well. If you saw my last thrift flip video, I made this corduroy halter top out of the bottom half of these pants that my boyfriend thrifted. So he had thrifted these corduroy pants and he cut them into shorts and then he gave me the knee to ankle section of the pair of pants so that I could use them to make that top. So I did the same thing. The jeans and those that green fabric that I used were both actually pants that my boyfriend thrifted, cut the bottoms off and gave me. So I've just been holding on to those um, since then. I also had this really flimsy um, cotton dress that was in this burnt orange color. I had thrifted that dress maybe a year ago and I've worn it a couple of times but it doesn't fit me very well and also the bottom hem was kind of lopsided. I don't know if that was actually intentional or not but I just didn't like the way that it looked on me anymore and I was planning on donating it again but I thought that the fabric was really beautiful so I wanted to use it for another project. I also had the rest of the brown corduroy um, scraps that from my last thrift flip project. Um, so I had kept all of the remaining little bits from that and I had used a couple of them um, on this project. And the last piece that I had was this little blue tank top from American Eagle that I got probably when I was like 15. Um, and I wore it a lot back then, but it doesn't really look good on me anymore. So I really didn't want to throw it away because it has this beautiful floral pattern on it. I actually didn't end up using it in this project, but I'm going to keep it in my little scrap bin um, for a future project. So this was my first time making a tote bag. Um, I've never sewn one before, so I actually loosely followed a tutorial from a channel on YouTube called Whitney Sews, and she also has a corresponding blog post on her website that is a really easy step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a tote bag. I didn't follow that tutorial exactly because the pieces that I had didn't really match up with everything that she used, but it was a really great jumping off point if you're a beginner looking to make a tote bag. So the first thing that I did was cut each of the pant legs that I had apart so that I had flat pieces of fabric for each one. I measured those as well as the orange dress to see how much fabric I had of each. For the tutorial I used, I needed 16 by 16 inch pieces of fabric for both the outer layer and the inner lining. So two for the outer layer, two for the inner lining. And I also needed two 28 by 4 inches um, of pieces of fabric for each of the straps. Um, after that, I went into my sketchbook and I drew out the design that I wanted. And I used some markers to try out different combinations of colors for the fabrics. And I ended up going with the one in the top left hand corner that you see. Um, but I actually ended up changing the inner lining fabric to green and I added an interior corduroy pocket. Um, but it was just for me to kind of lay out, see how I wanted the colors to sit on the tote bag. And then I set off measuring and cutting out all of my pieces. So I had almost perfect 16 by 16 squares of both the outer layer, which was denim, and the lining, which was the green cotton. And I think that's what's really fun about a project like this, is that you have to work with what you have, which is very economical, and it also forces you to be really creative. Um, so for the straps, I ended up cutting off the bottom ruffle layer of the orange dress, which was plenty long enough to make um, two straps. Um, it was a little bit wrinkled and pleated, but I actually decided not to iron it because I thought it added um, a little outdoorsy, um, relaxed look. It was very soft. And then for the cute mountain pattern on the front, I laid out several strips of the scrap fabric that I had um, and traced out a mountain range in marker. And then I made sure that the width of those strips was about 16 inches as well. 
Um, I knew that I wanted these to look kind of hand done, so I wasn't really precise about the design or even cutting them out because um, I kind of liked the frayed look at the ends of each of the layers as well. So I also decided to add a little pocket to the inside of the tote bag. So I currently use um, a different tote bag, which is right here. Um, and my phone always gets lost in the bottom of that bag, just swimming around with all of my other junk. So um, this bag was a little bit more structured, so I decided to add a little bit of a pocket on the inside to hold my phone. The next step was to sew the mountain pattern onto the outside fabric. Um, I pinned the layers in place one at a time, so I did the back layer first, and then the middle, and then the front, and then I sewed them down um, using a medium brown thread, which I used for the entire project. I wasn't too precise with this either. There's actually a couple of really messy areas um, on the mountain range pattern, but I actually kind of like how it looks. And after I sewed all three of the layers down, I made sure to trim off any of the excess fabric on the sides um, so that they were kind of flush with the denim underneath. And then I sewed the corduroy pocket onto the right side of the lining fabric, um, measuring it against my phone as I went to make sure that my phone would fit inside. So then um, it was time to sew the two pieces of the outer layer and of the lining layer together. So you sew on the sides and the bottom of both the outer layer and the inside layer with the right sides together. And when you're sewing the inner layer, the lining layer, make sure to leave a little bit, maybe five or six inches of an opening on one side so that when you sew them together, you can flip the bag inside out. I would definitely say for this part and the next step, watch Whitney's video because she explains it way better than I do. It's very difficult to explain, but it's really easy once you see it. To make the bottom of the bag, to make the depth, um, like kind of the bottom shell of the bag, you're going to stick your hand inside of the two layers, which should still be right sides together, and then flatten out the corner, so the opposite way that it naturally lays. Um, you can measure a line where the bag will lay flat at four inches apart and draw a line there, um, and that's going to be where you sew. So you're going to sew along that line, and then you can cut off the excess fabric. So to make the straps, I took the full length of that orange fabric that I cut out that was the ruffle at the bottom of the dress, and I cut it in half, so that would make the two straps. Um, so I took each one and I rolled it over three times over itself um, to make a really clean strap about an inch, an inch and a half wide. Um, and I pinned it down on the open side, but then I sewed on the pin side and on the other side to make sure that it laid flat, like when it was laying against my shoulder, when I carry it, I wanted it to be completely flat. So in Whitney's tutorial, she used a stabilizer fabric in her straps, but I decided not to because I kind of wanted them to be a little bit more flexible. And then to pin the straps to the bag, I flipped the denim layer right side out again, and I pinned the straps to the front of the bag. And when I pinned the straps on, I made sure to pick it up and kind of throw it over my shoulder to see if I liked the length of it. Um, I actually ended up making the straps a lot shorter than I thought I was going to because I like for the tote bag to sit really comfortably under my arm. And once I made sure that the straps were even on both sides and um, equal width from the corners, um, I just sewed them on. And then it was time to sew the inner and the outer layers together. Um, also, side note, this project can totally be done without a lining fabric. If you just want to have the exterior fabric, that's totally cool too. Um, I just like to have a lining um, to be really soft, especially because I was using a really thick denim for the outside. I wanted the inside to be a very soft um, fabric. I stuffed the outer layer, which was right side out, inside of the lining layer, which was um, inside out still. And then I tucked the straps in and I pinned all around the top of the opening to make sure that the edges were flush and then sewed around the edge. And then you're going to use that little hole that you left in the lining fabric to turn the whole bag inside out again um, so that it looks normal. Um, and then I just sewed that little hole closed and did a top stitch around the whole opening of the bag. And then here is the final result.
So this is just a super fun um, boho mountain range bag. It's a really easy project to work on. It's really good for beginners, especially this part looks difficult, but this is probably the easiest part to execute. This is a really great project to do um, if you're looking to use some thrifted fabrics that you bought and maybe didn't fit you, or just to reuse or recycle old clothing that you have that you don't want to wear anymore. And all in all, I think this project took me about five hours, which granted a lot of that time was me trying to figure out <laughs> um, like the correct measurements for what I was going to do because I didn't have exactly what I needed for the tutorial I was following um, but I was also doing it really late at night so that was taking a toll on my decision making and I was being very indecisive about what colors I wanted to use. So I have a couple more thrifted pieces in my scrap bin that I'm looking forward to thrift flipping maybe in the spring um, for the season change which will be really fun. Um, so if you want to check out any of my other creative endeavors, you can follow me on Instagram or check out my Etsy shop um, where I share my illustrations, designs, sewing, music, bullet journaling, makeup, just a lot of stuff on there. Thanks for watching!